Right then, I hope you're doing well. I want to show you how to make your own tomato ketchup. Super easy, and all you need is some real basic ingredients. This recipe is completely versatile, and sauces are very, very popular. I love a good sauce, nothing better to dump your chip in. I fondly remember when I was in the 90s and my parents used to always complain to me, why do I always add ketchup to everything? But it was a phase, the 90s. When we look at some of the classic recipes, HP sauce, all you've got to do is look at per 100 grams and you've got a staggering 23% sugars. Third highest ingredient is glucose fructose syrup. Still, we are using these ingredients. The Heinz classic barbecue sauce, my wife buys this from time to time and I'm really trying to also educate her. It's a challenge. So here we have carbohydrates, 34 grams of which 29 grams of that is sugars nearly a third the latest thing now is also syriac but even this contains 25% of that quarter of that is sugar so recently I found a really good brand in Waitrose where people be more conscious of sugar and healthy foods and whole food plant-based Dr. Will's range. We actually even do a ketchup, but here they've got a version of the Syriaca and also a barbecue sauce. They're using date paste, which is a lot more natural, but then also they're using a significant volume less. That's 11% sugar, but this is from natural sources. This is 14% sugar. So look at the staggering difference. This is 15% and this is nearly a third. 30%. You're looking at almost £3.50 per jar. Uh, both of these are on offer with like a pound off, but still it's expensive, especially considering you can make these at home. It doesn't require any cooking. It's just a matter of getting your ingredients and blending them together and putting them in an airtight jar. And it's much more rewarding. Now I've taken some great inspiration from these books, Anglesey Welsh Sea Salt Company. I really do like this section here with the pickling and fermenting. They show you how to make your own fermented chili hot sauce. Also how to make your own black garlic ketchup. But the recipe I'm going to use is the fermented ketchup recipe from the brilliant fermentation book. This is not necessarily a fermented recipe, but it's something you can twist it into by adding some of your ferments. So yes, my wife has gone out and bought some ketchup. It, it seems to be one of the essential things we buy in the UK. It's one of our favorite condiments. Although Syriac is now my favourite, but now it gives me the opportunity to actually look at the ingredients. The second highest ingredient after spirit vinegar is sugar, and it is 23% sugar. That is not nearly a quarter. So the ingredients you need is you need your raw apple cider vinegar, much different to the spirit vinegar you use in the ketchup. This has got some really good health properties, household essential. Now you can use date molasses, but I'm actually using a honey, or you can use maple syrup. I'm using this because it's lighter. An organic tamari soy sauce, absolutely essential is tomato puree. You can buy this roughly between 25 and 40 pence per 200 gram. Tomato is one of the best things you can buy processed and the reason being is because it has high amounts of a compound called lycopene which is really beneficial for your heart. I studied it extensively at university. The higher the puree and the concentrate, the higher the amount of lycopene. Some ground allspice and a clove of garlic. Then something a little bit different is I'm going to use this which I bought from Helen Mom which is the Oak Smoked Water. It's one of the Taste Award. Absolutely amazing. You can also add a optional but you can add a pinch of sea salt in this case. I'm going to use some of the Helen Mom sea salt. This recipe is so so versatile. Now in order to make this fermented I'm actually going to add some of my own fermented juice. Now what I've got here is fermented garlic that I'm going to cover in the future. And this is basically peeled garlic, which is submerged in local source honey. The G's, bees, you could use this. That would be amazing. I'm gonna use some of my fermented limes. I've actually covered a recipe on how to ferment your own lime, so please check that out there. You could also use some of your fermented sauerkraut, which I've got here, moon boosting sauerkraut. I've got a recipe here that I've covered. Or you can just leave that out. So let's get going.
tomato ketchup. So I'm really looking forward to hearing about what you're experimenting with and what your favorite variation of making your own tomato ketchup is. But there's nothing better than making it at home, getting that value for what you're eating. It's much, much healthier and it's actually tastier, much more premium. And of course, more than anything else in this current moment, it's cheaper. Voila, homemade tomato ketchup. So really hope you're enjoying the show. Please do subscribe, lots of love and passion going into this. Also, please check out my other playlist for flavor bombs. I'm gonna be covering something black garlic ketchup these now and lots of fermented recipes, which you can see in the background here. So have a great week, everyone. Enjoy.